There was so much we were meant to do. Tove. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Tove. I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning. And we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do. Things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know... I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. This was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know that you're valued. You have taught Tovi well. Through her you live on. I am sorry I was not here to see you off, old friend. When I close my eyes, Swim, I see your designs on the arms of gods. to see you, Eivor. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Facing the sail here. Sing us a song. If you have a friend, one that's we need an epic tale. Eivor, Eivor! Did I ever tell you all the story of how I killed an entire Eivor. clan single handedly with the broken hilt of a sword? Too often, dog. More times than any man can count. <laughs> Let's 
Let's hear us. There was a woman called Nal who came by ship to Fornberg and heralded, demanding to meet King Sigvaldi, Styrbjorn's father. Nal was from Gautland. She was tall and rugged and strong, and everyone who walked near her said she smelled of men's blood. When a message was sent to our king, Nal was made to wait a full day. Yet she did not complain. She watched the waves and sang songs. Night came and went, and still Nal sat by the shore of the fjord, singing her songs. She skipped rocks with children and smiled. As the afternoon of the second day approached, King Sigvaldi's messenger reappeared. They spoke quietly together. At last, the messenger stood back and waved to some men nearby. Three men bearing three chests of silver. <laughs> To pieces! Oh, Assassin's to the hand of God! Monastery Avon, right from Thunder!
Let's keep our wits of ours. Need to roll. All sail! Strike of the tune. You soul skulls got a story. We all remember when Eivor gave orders to attack Kjotve's clan in Avalsnes. I knew even then our chance at victory was slim. It was a fool's errand. But Eivor demanded we strike, and I am not one to disobey my superior. Such is the mark of an honorable man. You all know what followed. We set upon Kjotve's men and were overwhelmed. You lot were captured and fit to be butchered. And Eivor here, carried off to be sold into slavery. A fate worse than a fine death. But there is one fact you do not know. In the initial fight, I came upon Kjotve, cowering in an empty house. He did not see me. And I came within two arm's lengths of him. I could have slain him! A fast stroke of my axe, ending our troubles. But I held back. Why? Because I remembered my oath to Eivor. Yes. Years ago, Eivor had staked a claim on Kjotve's life. So I left the Bakrout alone. Yes. A pity, Dag. There is no one living who can verify this incredible tale. No sailing anywhere! Lower the mast! Bring it in! Oh. 
with you well.
stretch your wings soon enough.
see.
Valk is among them. I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would sooner swear up. How's your raven doing today? What a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend, you're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am... Looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. Volka! Godzapo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. You foresee great things for us. No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. A 
Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the Old Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home.